Good morning everybody and this is your Dow Jones day trade setups for today. So um, we have tagged the level we were looking at pretty much late in the session here. So we were looking at two levels. The first one was looking uh, like it was going to offer some resistance. That was at 35,427 uh, and then we kind of shot ahead to 35,649 which is the next level. This is the area we need to pay attention to. Don't like the way the oscillators are looking. Still believe we have some form of a flag here. So I am expecting some form of a pullback. So um, be waiting for the pullback to, to get, start getting long and we just haven't had it. And this was the most logical area here, 34,800. So looking for price to get back to 34,800 and then a move to the upside. So um, Facebook or Meta now, uh, basically, uh, posted a, um, I wouldn't say poor, but uh, the earnings uh, was a little bit less than what everybody was expecting. So of course um, that affected NASDAQ and uh, the S&P. We didn't follow suit on uh, Wall Street or Dow Jones, but I still think there are signs of exhaustion here. So you can see up, but looked like an exhaustion bar, sideways, sideways, and then up again. And now we're starting range bar, pin bar, lots of confusion. I have a feeling, you know, you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be sitting up here long that were trapped, um, who may be looking at the signs of exhaustion here, diversions brewing, uh, and be looking to sell their, their positions. So if that does start happening, you're probably going to see a bit of a, a sharp move back into this wedge at least, um, or down to find some, some structure. So uh, I'm just going to add one more level here, because this is going to get messy still and non-farm payrolls on Friday. So you're looking firstly to get back onto uh, 35427. If you start seeing some positive price action there, there's possibility of another move back up to 35649. Um, I personally, I want to see a decent pullback and I want to see the oscillators group to the downside before even looking at this. Here is your next level 35224. Oh, that's the other area you need to pay attention to. If we just come back to the 8 hour, trend is still down. So look at the moving averages. Moving averages are still sort of crossed over. They're not pointing to the downside anymore, but they are in a bearish um, setup. And oscillators are also heading towards an area where you need to worry about a pullback or sell off of some kind. So really sit on hands until we see some, some structure. So the, the challenge is when you've got your higher time frames giving you uh, sell signals and your lower time frames giving you buy signals, uh, it can go either way. It really can go either way. So you want to be pretty careful about what you're doing and pay very close attention to the levels. So still keep your position size small and uh, make sure that what you're looking for is price to get back onto level before chasing the short term trend. So short term trend is up, long term trend is really confused. Um, and I think on the daily, uh, we have had a crossover on the daily as well. So I would still expect a pullback as deep down as to 34,800, to be honest. That's kind of um, what I'm looking for. So I'm patiently sitting quietly. There's been no opportunity to get in on this. So we'll wait for it. And when we do get it, we'll jump in on it. So for now, I'm probably going to sit this out until non-farm payrolls and then look for some kind of structure on that on Friday. Um, anyway, that's kind of me. I uh, hope it helps someone and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.